Okay, I want everyone, everyone, go share this video right now. Just start sharing right now. Just start sharing. Send it to your mama, your brother, your sister, your neighbor, your friend. Just start sharing. And it's not about views or anything, but we're gonna tell the truth. We're gonna we're gonna get right down to it and just uh, just start sliding these little things on out here and just telling the truth. <clears throat> um, let's let's drop some. Let's drop. Let's talk, let's let's talk about this dropping name thing. Let's let's do that. Um, I think a lot of you all are like, oh my God, he's lying about Brian Carnes. He's lying about Brian Carnes. Um, the truth of the matter is this: I'm not lying. Um, I could have easily, I could have easily um, went forward with the inbox, got his phone number, he starts sending me pictures, I start sending him pictures. I, I just don't roll like that, and I do have regard for leadership. Um, I don't like to be played with, though. That's, I don't like to be played with. I like for people to be real and honest. You know, don't make a profit off of, you know, you gay bashing or anything like that. I mean, baby, just preach. You know, you've already made a name for yourself by um, prophesying. And people know you for calling out addresses and telling people they got house shoes at their front door. So, I mean, stuff like that. I'm, I'm being very lighthearted right now. But the situation is, like, you want names. You want names. You really want names. I'm serious. Share this video. Share this video. Y'all want names. Y'all want names. Okay, so let's do this. I could talk about a lot of people because I do know a lot of stuff, especially uh, Kojic people. Um, and I really could put a lot of people on blast. I really could. I know a few apostolic people. I know a lot of non-denominational people. And I just shoot. And, you know, somebody said, oh, you're a messy queen. Well, you're a messy fag. You're a me Well... Listen, I've never been a queen, I've never been a fag, and I've never been messy. Now, what I have been is truthful. I'll tell you the truth. You want the truth? I'll tell it to you. You want to know what's going on? I'll tell it to you. You know, you want somebody to tell you what's really going on? I'll tell you that. You know, you, you know, some people ask me about, you know, do I get involved in having sex at these conventions and stuff? And I'm like, no. You know, when I go to convocation and stuff like that, I pay my money. Like the last time, I spent... I think it was fifteen hundred dollars getting there, making sure hotel room and all this other stuff was paid for. If you can't do this stuff at your own, and I'm not, I'm not saying that let's do that. But I'm saying if you can't do this stuff at your own home, then you going there getting in some big old mess. That's a little sad. Anyways, that's why I said, baby, if y'all need care packages, I have care packages. You can inbox me on Facebook. And I will send you a care package. Baby, I will send you condoms, lubes, whatever you need. <laughs> we gonna be safe out here. If y'all gonna be doing it, I'm gonna help you be safe. With the feet. Anyways, um, somebody said I, I pulled my ear the last video and I, I was lying. No, my ear was itching. Dang it. Anyways, so I mean, yeah, I can, I can call out some names. We can call Todd Hall. We can call out, you know, Eric Garns because he was the one in the video I was telling you about, you know, pulled off his coat and his big thing. Just, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, you know, we can, you know, everybody has something. Everybody has something. The situation is this. People don't want to believe. People don't, people do not want to believe. I could tell you that Bishop Todd Hall is a, is a womanizer. I could. I could tell you that. I could tell you that, but would you believe it? I I said, I said that Brian Carnes was in my inbox. What I should have did was I should have just went on further, entertained it. I should have just got pictures and everything like that. But you guys would not believe it. You will not believe it because some of y'all are like, oh my God, he's such a man of God. Listen, there are countless stories out here of this man fooling with men and women. Now, how is that hard to believe? Because he prophesied, he's anointed, he's gifted. Well, there's a lot of gifted people out here, and they just fucked up. Like, seriously, they just really messed up. Doesn't take away from their gifting and their anointing, however high or low it may be, but it's just the truth. I could tell you, you know, uh, about G.E. Patterson, but would you believe it? No, because you're just like, 
Oh, Bishop GE. Oh, GE's this. Oh, GE's that. And I mean, it doesn't take away from the fact, because Bishop, I love me some Bishop GE. But Bishop GE had a side. Bishop GE had a side. Okay, so let's, let's talk about this. Bishop Eddie Long. Bishop Eddie Long was a powerful man. Powerful man. I mean, spiritually and naturally. Bishop Eddie Long could walk in a place and command the crowds. Okay, he could command the crowds. But, and still, he had another side to him. You know what I'm saying? Like, does it does it take away from the fact of what he did? No, it doesn't. Because if you did it, you did it, and that's it. You know? Um, yeah, so, I'm going to turn this down because I don't want YouTube to give me no strike for this music. But anyways, um, yeah, what I said about Brian Carson was true. It was true. I, would you want me to go back further? I remember when he came to Minnesota. We brought him to Minnesota for a conference. And, you know, um, myself and another armor bear had to pick him up from the airport. You know, he and um, his armor bear dude get in the car. He is talking trash to this man. I'm talking about, like, shut your mouth. You know, I'm going I'm to hurt you. I'm a, You know, just all kind of crazy stuff, you know. And then even when... Um, I'm oh, okay. I can't skip to that yet, but um, taking him to the hotel, you know, he's like, "Okay, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Do you need anything else? Do you need anything? Okay. All right. I'm gonna see you around. Now you tell me, you tell me what straight nigga is gonna look at another nigga all googly eyes, honey? If you, is you trying to do some voodoo voodoo on me? It don't work." I'm not caught up in who you are, just not. You know, I don't think for me, I never really cared for him um, when I start seeing him getting up doing a lot of bashing. Um, and I say that because, like, I noticed that a lot of church people, Church of God in Christ, hello, you especially, Church of God in Christ people, like to just hoorah on these messages and I'm just like okay so all the gays need to go to hell oh praise him you better tell him you better tell him okay well how's that edifying the body then some dude on here I don't know if it was Derek Moore or some Bobby something said God need to wipe out all the fags and I was like God need to wipe out all the fags one is that Christian like is that Christian like no it's not help me understand help me understand so let let's 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 finish this out cuz I'm not I don't want this to be long um oh what song is this Oh, I think David's in this one. Is David in this one? Oh, there go Tanya Hughes. Oh. Yates. What David? Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Come right back. I'm trying to see my brother David. Okay, David ain't in that one. Anyways, um, I've been coaching my entire life, my entire life. I've dibbled and dabbled in PAW, World Assemblies of, the, of Restoration, um, but coaching is my home. Uh, UPPC, um, I'm coaching. I'm coaching till I D-I-E. I love the foundation that it was set on, and I don't think Bishop mason set out for it to be like this and even with bishop mason bishop mason got married again but we preach against getting married again but half y'all negroes got three four wives you know hello i mean let's let's just be honest okay let's do this bishop macklin has a baby out of whitlock okay um bishop porter is speculated to have a baby out of wedlock. 
um, the mess that happened just the other year with Bishop Blake, the big mess with with Elder Carter, Pastor Carter, Superintendent Carter, whatever. He jumped three times, saying that um, uh, Bishop Blake had molested some little boy or whatever. I mean, you can go on Kojic Report, or is it reportkojicabuse.com. I did a video about that. You can go on there and see all this mess. You want receipts? Go on there. Them all the receipts that you need. Go on there. You'll get all the receipts that you need. Do you want me to cuss and you just an act a fool? I know you do, but it's like, again, if you don't believe what I'm saying, you don't believe what I'm saying. That's just the truth. Who else could we call out? I mean, I gave you Brian Carnes. I gave you Brian Carnes. I gave you the list. I even showed you my inbox. First of all, nigga, you hit me up at 11 o'clock at night. What straight man is going to hit another, another nigga up at 11 o'clock at night telling him, let's talk Bible scriptures, and you give me bedroom voice? No, was it Kemp, Clement, Clement, Summer, whatever your, your, faith, your uh, YouTube name is? It didn't bother me, but again, it's 11 o'clock at night. I already don't care for you, but you hit me up at 11 o'clock at night talking about you want to talk Bible scripture, and you're you saying that what I said about you was incorrect. Uh, no, it's not incorrect. You said what you said, and I came back at you. I said What I said to Brian Carnes was, I said to him, I said, you're wrong for saying that because that was not God. Then somebody said, oh, the Bible said, touch not mine anointed and do my prophet no harm. Well, baby, I'm anointed too, and I'm God's child. So, from one God's child to another God's child, I'm going to tell you that you're wrong. You may not agree, you may not like it, but that's just the reality of it. And I wish people would get out of themselves and see it for, for that. People feel like, oh, um, how can you say that? That's supposed to be your brother, that's supposed to be your sister. If you're wrong, you're just wrong. Everybody want to go along with this mess and we just going to pray for them. We, no, it's time to call folks on the carpet. Call people on the carpet. If you are wrong, you're wrong. And you need to stop it. These little boys are growing up. These little boys are growing up. Little girls are growing up. And they want to be just like you. But when they see this mess like this, then they want to, they'll emulate what they see. If all they see is you bashing and talking about people and sending folks to hell, then that's what they're going to do. They're going to emulate and imitate exactly what you do. Is that okay? Absolutely not. I'm just preaching Jesus. I'm just preaching the love of God. No, you're not preaching the love of God. There is no God in that at all. No God in that. Is this James Greer? That's Fred Hammond. Oh, it's 25-7. And it's, it's just the truth of the matter. It's just the truth of the matter. And if we can if we can get to that, then we'll be good. Now, I'm going to tell you this right here. And I'm, I promise you, I'm going to close this out. Um, Wee McCray is a an associate of mine. I don't work for him. I'm not on his street team. None of that. None of that. Um, when I first... Uh, was went public with my relationship with my ex. Um, everybody was sending William McCray pictures. They was passing pictures around in the Church of God in Christ. Um, and when I went to convocation last year, the 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 low treatment that I got, I was like, first of all, out of everything I've done for this church, y'all gonna do this? And then I, I started to get I I had to, I flipped over to Marco, that other side where I, I popped off on the other day on my video. Um, Again, share, share this, share this, share this, share this, share it. Because I'm, I'm telling you everything. I could have been very evil and very upset and mad because I was very upset. Very upset due to the fact that you all want to come for me and say that I'm a liar. Say that I'm operating in the wrong spirit and all this other type of stuff like that. Bull crap. Bull crap. People harp on and they stand up for what they want to stand for, stand up for. And when somebody cry loud and spare lot and spare not, then you want to say, oh, you're a gear faggot, you're a messy queen, you're a little sissy. Say what you want to say. But I promise you, when it comes to your door, when it comes to your door, your story will be totally different. If your child was molested or raped, 
your story would be very different. If your daughter or your son was taken advantage of by someone like a Brian Carr, your story would be very different. If somebody prophesied to you and told you to give them a thousand dollars and you're going to be delivered from financial bondage and everything in three days and you give them that thousand dollars knowing good and doggone well you got to pay rent the next day, then one, two things. Yes, your fault. And maybe you didn't believe, but that's your fault. You did that. The Bible says my people lack, uh, they perish for the lack of knowledge. That's where, okay. So, it's like, you, you don't want to believe. You don't want to believe. So, you know, that's it. And then when I, came, when I came out like that, you know, people was just acting real different. But my inbox stayed swole, though. People was trying to hit me up left and right. Mainly because the person who I was with was not all right. And they was out here doing their thing while I'm sitting up here being faithful. Hello. Anyways, uh, and, and, and y'all think I'm putting somebody out here? Honey, I got proof. Screenshots. I got the phone. You hear me? I have the phone. Looking through that mug and I was just like, oh my God. Text messages and all. Anyways, not to say that I hadn't, you know, I hadn't didn't think because after I found out about a whole bunch of stuff, I did my own thing too. Whatever. It still ain't right. It wasn't right. It ain't right. Whatever. Um, But yeah. And then William McCray was inboxing me and trying to get me to call him. And then he wanted me to talk to him about Bishop Porter and tell my business about Bishop Porter and everything like that. And I'm like, I heard a lot about Bishop Porter. I heard a lot about Bishop Porter, speculations and everything like that. Not anything that I know personally, but I only thing I can tell you about is, I mean, his attitude stinks. He's very cocky and arrogant. He's a good preacher, though. He's a good preacher, though. But he's cocky and arrogant, and he can be condescending. And I think the one time um, right before I uh, stepped away from his church, because I'm, I'm still on roll, uh, when I stepped away from his church, he looked at me when I walked in the church, going to tell me, and I was like, I don't know what that mean, but do you do? Anyways, so... Everybody was sending stuff to William McCray and trying to, you know, put me all out there and stuff like that. And I was just like, why? And half of these were the girls. Not not girl girls, but guy girls. You know, y'all want to put me on blast? Why? Y'all want to have me out here looking like Emmanuel Richardson? Like, baby, I was honest with my stuff. Do you hear me? I was honest. I wasn't out here kissing other folks' husbands and still sitting up here preaching and stuff like that, want to tell folks all kind of stuff. No, I ain't, I ain't do that. And I did a story on it. I think I deleted it off Facebook because I really wanted to get it again. But here we are. So what I want you guys to do, after you shared this with your family and friends and you told everybody about it, I want you to think about this, that nobody, nobody in this world is perfect. They're not perfect. And you've got to learn to seek God for yourself, not nobody else. End of the day. End of the day. You got to seek God for yourself, not man, not for your sister, your brother. You got to learn to pray to God. I don't care how good Brian Carnes, Prophet Brian Carnes could preach, pray, and tell you about your, your address and your phone number and what color is your socks in your drawer. I don't care. You've got to learn to seek God for yourself. Now, the Bible did say this. Try the spirit by the spirit and see if, see if it is of God. Now, before y'all knock me, consider what I'm saying. My grandma says this all the time. Consider what I'm saying. Consider. When I made the video about him in my inbox, consider what I'm saying. One thing I'm not going to do on this here video and this here platform that I'm giving, I'm not going to sit up here and lie. I'm not going to sit up here and lie because I wouldn't waste your time and I wouldn't waste my time. Like right now, I've been talking, what, 19 minutes and 43, 44 seconds. I'm not going to sit up here and waste your time with a bunch of bullshit and, and make believing just to get some likes or some views. I'm going to bring to you what's real. 
Because you know what? I'm a PK, church baby, Kojic born, bred, all this other stuff. I know stuff. I know the reality of it. And, what I, and I'm not bringing you anything to be messy. What I'm bringing to you, what I'm bringing to you is things so your eyes can be open and you can be aware. So that you can seek God for yourself. The Bible did say this. And I know a lot of us, you know, we don't necessarily believe everything the Bible say. Because, you know, I have an issue with a lot of things. The Bible say, Brian said, the Bible is the only thing. It's the only roadmap. It's infallible. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Okay. I'll break that down for another day. Because you delusional too. Okay. Um... The Bible did say that my people perish for the lack of knowledge. And then he also said that my people, the elect, shall scarcely make it in. Why? Because you've been fooled. You've been fooled. You've been hoodwinked. Bamboozled. Just like you got all these black people up there with Trump. You get, you've been hoodwinked and bamboozled. Y'all like my bracelet? I did this myself. Thank you. Anyways, um, I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm gonna tell you the truth. I'm not gonna sit up here and lie to you or anything. I want you to I want you to walk in service with your eyes open and your mind open and your heart guarded. Because if not, people will continue to take advantage of you. I'm gonna do another video about that. I'm gonna do a video about people taking advantage of people in church. And I'm gonna tell you what you need to do. Even in this world, don't allow people to take advantage of you for the sake of who they are and in their positions. I've been there. I've been there. And it hurt. Oh, I ain't even finna go in there right now because I was just about to slip right on into that vein. But yeah, y'all just, just think. Just, just, just think. Think, be mindful of the things that people say to you and the things that people do. You may not, and a lot of you, a lot of you, ladies, ladies, listen to me. Um... It may be hard what I'm saying, but it's the truth. And I try to be comical with it at the same time so that we all can laugh because, I mean, it tickles me. I got stories. I have a book. As a matter of fact, I am working on a book. I'm working on a book. And it ain't a tell-all, but I just want y'all to open up your eyes. Ladies, open up your eyes. Open up your eyes and walk in truth. Walk in truth. If you dating somebody that ain't all the way right, or you know good and well that they, you know they gay, seriously, honey, ask questions. And if they lying and you know they lying, call them to the carpet. Ask your friends about them. And if you still want to be with them, that's your choice. That's your choice that you make. But remember, that's your choice that you made. And when they end up on on Jack, Grinder, BGC, and all this other stuff, and you find out about it, remember that you walked in that yourself. Okay, so, you know, they don't have to be gay. So, if you find out that your boyfriend, friend, significant other, whatever, is talking to another woman, remember, remember, black men gone sad. Remember, you walked in this situation. Never walk in a situation and you don't think. Not to have speculations, but you don't think. Because one thing about it, and I can say this, oh, well, this probably might be another video, but men with power, men with power and attention and an audience, honey, you're going to have fans out this world. Ladies and gentlemen, listen to me. Men, you may be upset by what I'm saying, but this is the truth. And the same thing applies to you. Your girl is always hiding her phone. If your dude always hiding his phone, why you got to hide the phone? So again, like I said, I called some names out. I called some names out. I called some names out. But remember, don't go in this thing blind. Don't go in this thing blind. My brothers and sisters who are in Christ, Christ came that you might have life so that you could live. Now sit up here in church and die in these pews with your eyes closed. You better go in eyes wide open. You hear me? Eyes wide open like a mug. Honey, I want to see everything in this piece. You better be praying. Honey, Shambhala Haya Hikomo Sa. Honey, Lord, let me see. And some of y'all, your heart can't bear it. Don't ask God to let you see. 
I appreciate you guys for following me. I really do. Hope you guys have a great day. And um, subscribe, follow, and just look for more. Because I'm going to always give you the truth. I'm going to always give you the truth. Not messiness, but I'm going to always give you guys the truth. See you soon.